Hey, wait, what are you doing? I'm going on a backpacking trip. Stop, I wouldn't do that. Why? Because of this. So there are many reasons why you shouldn't travel. Let's start with bed bugs. Bed bugs are hidden in mattresses, pillows or blankets of your favorite hostel. Maybe. But how do bed bug bites look like? First of all, most of the times they will bite you at night while you're sleeping, of course. And they always bite you a couple of times close to the same area and sometimes there will be even a line of bites. If you're a victim of a bad bug attack, make sure that you wash all your stuff like really, really hot or put your clothes in a plastic bag and let it burn in the sun for a while when you're still on your trip. When you're checking into a new hostel, check the mattress, check the pillows, the blankets, like underneath the sheets. And if you see some black dots, some bad bugs, poo, Ugh. better change your hostel. If you see some blood on the edges of your mattress, this can be a sign of bad bugs as well. A short note, if you get bitten by fleas, flea bites are spread on your body like a little bit more randomly and not in a line. And most of the times fleas bite you close to your ankle. Also fleas are most of the times connected to some animals you may have touched. Let's talk about these two fuckers for a bit. A spider bite most likely looks like two red dots next to each other. A scorpion bite looks more like a red dot with a red surrounding and you will feel a lot of pain. I hope you will never get bitten by one of these bitches. But in Cambodia I almost stepped on a scorpion so make sure that you always wear shoes, especially when it's dark. And one really interesting note, since the 1950s there was only one recorded death by a spider in Australia. So even if you're scared of spiders you should still travel to Australia. So how to protect yourself from spiders and scorpions. I have no clue. For our home I bought this snappy. This is no ad. But it's an awesome tool. You can catch spiders without touching them. And then there are ticks. Ticks are nasty. When they bite you, most of the times you will find a red dot and there can be like a red circle surrounding the dot. It can be really dangerous if you get an infection. How to protect? First of all, use insect repellent, which contains 20% of DEET. Also get a vaccination and take a shower once you come home from a hike. Check your whole body because you got some time before these motherfuckers bite you. It's and now mosquitoes. If you get insect repellent which contains DEET, this also helps you from getting bitten by mosquitoes. I mean, most of you know how a mosquito bite looks like and how it feels like. How to protect yourself from getting bitten. First of all, get a girlfriend who attracts a lot of mosquitoes. This is what I did, so she gets bitten more often than I do. Okay, but now for real, besides of the insect repellent you put on your skin, also buy insect repellent you can spray on your clothes. In most of the hostels, for example in Southeast Asia or in dangerous mosquito zones they got a mosquito net so always ask at the reception if they got one also wear white clothes with bright colors like this because mosquitoes get attracted by dark colors like blue, black or red. Also when you like to hang out on the beach or if you like to hang out outside on a balcony or even inside of your hostel, you can use those mosquito coils we bought. You have to light them so don't burn your whole hostel room. But the mosquitoes don't like the smoke of these mosquito coils. And I hope you like this video and of course there are no reasons that you shouldn't travel. Please travel the world and I just want to give you like a quick overview of the these little creatures which can make your backpacking life a little bit more nasty. I mean at the end you will see some insects and cockroaches and lizards. I got bitten by a lizard once and I wasn't sure because I only saw the tail if it was a lizard or a snake. But don't be scared now you got some tools. I also linked this video you need to know about malaria over here and vaccination for Southeast Asia. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any travel tip. Please and post a comment if you got any question or any other tips how to protect from insects. Thank you so much for watching and see you later!